All right, I am going to cover chapters 7 and 8, I think, on if statements and while loops. And we'll start with if statements. And I'm going to do a little bit in the interactive mode. All right, so let's say I'm going to declare A equals 10 and B equals 5. Now I'm going to do a quick if statement. If A is greater than B, and then we do a colon, and we say, I'll just say print um, A comma is bigger alright comma are bigger than comma B. All right. And then when we pass it, it does say that 10 is bigger than 5. Let's do it the other way. If A is less than B, Uh, print A is uh, is smaller than B. Okay, what happens when we do that? Nothing, because this isn't true. An if statement only executes when it's true. This is the basic syntax. If A is some condition, right, and this condition has to evaluate to true or false. So if A is greater than B, print A is uh, bigger than B. That works because it is true. This doesn't work because the A minus B is false. It's not an error. It just says that this condition is not true, therefore don't do this. So ifs allow you to <coughs> um, check on things to see if they're true or false and, and to do different branches of coding depending on if that's the case. Let's do um, a slightly different thing. If A is uh, greater than B Let's do it as if less than B, so it's not true right away. Um, and then I do a colon, because an if is a block. Then I will print um, A is smaller than, no, quick, uh, than B. Okay, so we know that's false. Um, I'm going to come over here and do an else. Hopefully this will work. <coughs> and else will give us, well, it doesn't like the indention. Doing this in here is sort of odd. All right, so if A is less than B, no if there, if A is less than B, uh, print A is smaller than Okay, so that won't do anything, right? Because it's that. So I'm going to do else. And I will do uh, a print. Why doesn't it like else? All right, let's do it in a new one. I'm going to do a new file. And I'm going to uh, just do them straight up here, not even in a function. I'm just going to say a equals 
10 B equals 5 if A is less than B uh, print A is smaller than B okay and then I'm going to go back and do else print A is not smaller than uh, comma B And then we'll run that. I'll just call it first if. We'll do some things here. <clears throat> uh, I didn't change the file location document. Actually, let's go down to. And then go to Python programs. And then we'll do it save. And I forgot to print. And I'll save it again. We'll run it again. 10 is not smaller. Oh, did I mess that up? Then 5. Okay. So that's real simple. Let's go back here. And get this out of the way. I screwed that up for a smaller, but to test this, if that's false, then it does the else. There are really only three possibilities, so I'm going to do um, change this one more time, and then we'll do a couple of other little things. I'm going to add an L if, uh, and then I will do uh, for the L if I will say. A L if A is greater than B then we will say print A is bigger than B I'm going to get that out of there comma B now there's only one other possibility, uh, and that is that A is equal to so L if allows you to create a block of if statements, right? L if if L if else. And we will run this. Uh, so first I'll save it and then I will run it. And it says 10 is bigger than 5. But let's change the numbers a little. So let's make both of them 10 for right now. I'll save it. And then I will do uh, run module. And it says 10 is equal to 10. It goes to the else. And if I were to make a less, make it the 5, save it. you could see that we will get 5 is smaller than 10. So this is a, a if block, right? You don't have to have every element. It could just be an if. Uh, it can't be an else without an if, and it can't be an l if without an if. And you don't need an l if every time. It could be just if else, or it could be just if. But that's basically an if block. So let's do I'm going to uh, comment this out because I will put this all in the blog code. Let's do a, like a grade program and we're going to de develop it a little bit as we go. So I'm going to do a def um, and I'm going to say First, we're just going to start with one grade. 
Um, so I'm going to say get grade. And I'm just going to say um, input. So we'll do grade equals we're going to say that the grades are whole numbers so we'll just say int input uh, enter a grade between 0 and 100 okay and then we're going to, oh, I didn't close the quotes. OK, then we're going to uh, return the grade. OK, so that's our get our grade one. And then we're going to start another function, def. Um, let's do evaluate grade. And this one's going to change a lot over time. So one of the things we'll do is we'll get the grade. And two, we will um, evaluate it. So I'm going to do, be very general at first. If grade is greater than, oh, let's just right now, greater than seven, D greater than 65, whatever. We will print, you passed. OK, so this is just an if statement. It's going to be a very simple one. We're going to, as I said, make this more elaborate as we go on. Um, and then I'm going to go down here, and I'll do, for right now, a def main. And I'll just call evaluate grade. That's a semicolon, not a colon. OK, and then we'll call main. OK, we only need to call evaluate grade here because it calls get grade. So let's save this. I'm going to, it'll still be under first if, uh, but we'll run it. Oh, I did a colon here. There's no colon there. Run it. So save, run. I did save it. All right. Now it says G is not defined. Oh, that's because it's minus, not equal. OK, guys got to watch the typos like I do. All right. Way at the bottom here. Enter a grade between 0 and 100. So first thing I'll do, I didn't leave myself a space there, is I will do 55. Nothing happens. Why does nothing happen? It says that grade is not defined. What did I do now? Oh, this is G. Right, because that's what we said it was here. File. I saved it, but run again. So 55, nothing happens. And that's because we only said something would happen if they pass. So if I go back, and I'm going to kill this so that we're at the top. If I run this again, except let's make it a space here. If I run this again, first I have to save. So this time I'll do 76, and it says you passed. So it ignores this if it's not true. Let's do um, add an else. And we will say print, uh, sorry, you failed. OK. 
We'll save it again. We'll run it. All right. So this time if I do 55, it'll say, sorry, you failed. So let's do a couple of other things here. Um, let's give it a little bit finer feedback. So let's, instead of 65 here, let's say, oh, 90. Then you can say, let's say you did great. Okay, and then let's go back and do elif. Um, and I'm going to say g is greater than 80. Now you can do this because it, if it evaluates the first, if it's above 90, it'll stop there. If it's not above 90, then it'll come down here and it'll do above greater than 80. These have to be in a certain order or you'll get some problems. But I'm going to print. Uh, you did good. Okay, let's do one more elif. And let's just say um, if g or elif g is greater than 70, then what we'll do is we'll say print you passed. Okay, so let's try running this a few times. So I'm going to save it. I'm going to run. Okay, so I'm going to say 73. And it says you passed. So let's run it again. And let's do 95 says you did great. So um, these all work now. So we've got a if, else if, else if, else block. Let's do a couple of other things. What happens, so I'm going to run this again. What happens if I enter uh, 133? It says you did great, but it's not a valid score. So one of the things you could do is you could validate with another if. I'm going to show you a couple of ways to do this. If, uh, so we have to get the grade, right? If grade uh, greater than 100. And I'm also going to do, oh, let's do if grade is less than one, 0. Grade is less than zero or grade is greater than 100 print invalid grade I'm having trouble And I'm going to put a return here, too, because that will kill um, that will kill uh, this. I'm going to turn I'm going to give grade an initial value of zero. So it'll return, actually I'm going to give it an invalid grade value. I'm going to give it a minus one. So that when you get down here, when you evaluate the grade, if g equals minus one, And then what we'll do is we'll do a period uh, print. 
So actually, let's just do that. Let's just do, um, actually, I'm going to change this. I'm going to change this so it's not returning there. It's just going to make grade equal minus 1. All right, and then if it print down here, I'm going to print invalid grade. There's no alpha or is there. This is a separate if statement than the one below. Let's try that. So a couple of things here. We did the two conditions, less than zero or grade greater than 100. You can, the other condition you can do here is and, but in this case that would mean no, no condition would ever be true. Uh, the double equal sign here is for equality not merely assignment. When you're doing this, you're assigning minus one to grade. You know, and most of the others were here, we're assigning the, the grade to the variable G. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to run it again. Oh, I forgot the um, quotes. Okay, so save, run again. Okay, and I'm going to enter 133 again. And it says invalid grade. It also says, sorry, you failed. So one of the things you might want to do is do a return here, and that will break it. So I'm going to save that again. And I'm going to... Uh, run the module. I'll do 133 again. And this time it just gives us invalid grade because it stops at that point. Return ends of uh, a function. All right. So I think that's enough on ifs. Um, you can definitely do more. You can have ifs inside of ifs. And you can have, uh, I mean, it can get more complicated than this. So, I am going to do a couple of other little things here. One of the things you can do, say you just didn't want them to enter a bad grade. So, I am going to comment this. And I'm going to show a different way to do this. Okay, so I'm going to do a little while statement. This is a loop. So I'm going to say while. So before I do anything, I'm going to do grade equals zero because we want it to be valid. And then I'm going to say, well, grade Okay, and what this will do is it'll keep looping until they enter a valid grade, right? So let's see if that works. This is a loop, a while loop. It's a what they call an un or a conditional loop or an unrestricted loop. This will loop forever until they enter a valid grade. It'll just keep asking for a new grade. So let's do run or save first and then I will run this oops it went to straight to sorry you failed why is it doing that it should let's give it an invalid run for so we want to save that run and we'll uh, run the module so the, the, we needed to give it an invalid one to make sure that it did the loop so I'm going to say 133 notice it says another one so I'm going to say minus 22 
doesn't do it again. So this time I will say 93 and then it'll go and do say you did great. So this will continue looping until there's a valid number in it. And that's what I had to put an invalid number in there. So it won't let you go ahead until you've entered a valid number, in which case you don't need to do this. So I'm going to comment that. I know there's a way to comment it all at once, but I'll just do it. Now, what if you wanted to enter a lot of grades? I'm going to do another while loop for that. So I'm going to say um, while. So let's do. Uh, choice equals, and I'm going to do a single quoted yes. Okay, and then I'm going to say while choice equal yes. We want to evaluate the grade. Um, and then I'm going to right here, I'm going to uh, choice equals uh, input, do you want to continue? Or let's just do yeah, why to continue. So this way, anything other than Y, it will fail to continue. And I'm also going to do um, choice dot lower to make sure that even if you enter it as a capital, that'll make it. So now it should do it over and over again for as many grades as we want uh, until, and then we can, as I said, we can keep keep looping and not have to restart every time. So I'm going to run this. Oh, it doesn't. I forgot my colon. Notice again the double equal for equality. So I'm going to save it again. I'm going to run it. Actually, let me kill this. Um, and then run it again. All right, <clears throat> so let's do 50. Do I want to continue? Let's say yes. Enter a grade between 0 and 100. Uh, 77. Okay, yes to continue. Uh, enter a grade 55. Well, let's do something better. Let's do 84. You did good. So let's say I'm done. I'm just going to enter an N and then it's done. All right, so I'm going to let this be for this one. There's a whole lot more in the chapter and also in the uh, game one that we did for um, the pure exercise. It has a lot more of this kind of if, l, if, and the while loops. Uh, but I think this is enough for this also because it's not going as well as I would like. It's working, but it's not doing as well as it would like. So I will paste this into um, the blog, and I'm going to call this a video.